Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video I wanted to follow on from my unboxing video of the Comfast BE6500 Wi-Fi 7 adapter. I just wanted to see what the Wi-Fi 7 speeds are like compared to perhaps to Wi-Fi 6E um, and then also to the 2.5 uh, gigabit Ethernet. So we'll just to quickly do some speed test comparisons so it gives you an idea. Again uh, just remember the uh, Wi-Fi 7 on this adapter um, is the BE6500 chipset by Realtek. Um, it, it does seem to be a bit hit and miss with the drivers right now. So my advice is that if you're looking to get this as a, a super fast to take um, on board all the new Wi-Fi 7 kind of uh, capabilities, especially with a, a multi-link operation, then probably best to wait off and not buy this item. Um, but it seems to be a, a good, uh, perhaps a 2.45 and a 6 gigahertz um, band uh, Wi-Fi adapter, and it looks pretty cool as well. So if we just have a look here, as we said about Wi-Fi 7, so this uh, adapter does support Wi-Fi 7, where you can see here it does have much more throughput compared to Wi-Fi 6 and 6E. Again, if you want much more details, I've got previous videos, so please just have a uh, watch of those where we go into much more detail. This gives you a quick overview of basically Wi-Fi 7 um, and how the increase in basically bandwidth, uh, so it goes from 80 to 160 and then in Wi-Fi 7, 320. Um, so again, this is theoretical speeds and everything else if it's in perfect conditions. And of course, you have to have uh, a Wi-Fi 7 uh, adapter, but also a Wi-Fi 7 uh, router. And the router I've got is the Asus BE98. Uh, it's a brilliant, uh, massive, because uh, it's a showpiece kind of thing in my uh, living room. Uh, when anyone ever comes around, they ask what the uh, router is, because it's got all the ROG uh, LED lights that you can change and customize. And it does have the 10 gigabit uh, Ethernet ports in the back as well. Uh, and it's uh, quite uh, future proof for a very long time. So again, as we said, this is basically what we're going to test is the Wi-Fi 7 adapter is the main uh, point after the unboxing video. And I'll put that unboxing video in the description. So it was this one here I actually downloaded because I was quite interested. As you can see, it's got a quite a cool design and it's USB-C and it supports the uh, Wi-Fi 7 here. Um, as we said here, it's got it's supposed to be a high gain antenna as well, um, and it comes with the uh, USB-C cable to uh, type A, and then also you can see here, uh, it's basically supporting Windows 10, 11, and then also it has the bands here, the 2.4, the five and the six, and it says driver free. I did actually notice that the drive is not actually driver free, so it just means that when you plug it in, um, a little uh, installation uh, auto install uh, will run and install the drivers for you. I've not been able to actually find the drivers externally except for um, on some Chinese websites um, and the uh, also the uh, certificates with the drivers uh, had didn't uh, weren't secure so just be wary when you are if you are going to be looking for drivers uh, be careful where you download them from and what's uh, basically what websites as well so try and stick to the main kind of websites or what is actually included within this uh, little adapter so just be wary of those because there's a quite a lot of scam ones out there so as i said this is the actual uh, one we're testing and the unboxing video i put in the description so we'll quickly go to now uh, do the test. So this is on the uh, Wi-Fi 7 and it's actually connected to the uh, 6 gigahertz frequency. Uh, it's got one wall and about 12 feet uh, distance from the actual uh, router. So it's not too far um, and the, it's only one brick wall. So if we just quickly on start. So again, this is going to use open speed test. This is connecting to my NAS um, that's uh, in on my home so this is basically the should be the theoretical highest speeds because it's just on internal network and my internal network is 10 gigabit ethernet uh, uh, as well as the with the switch as well so uh, it should be able to even be able to connect and everything else uh, more and quick enough for this so you can see here we're getting a 658.5 uh, uh, megabytes per second and an upload of 732.1 megabytes per second uh, being uh, on the Wi-Fi 7 and, and I think the uh, the actual link between the adapter and the uh, router, it was saying around 2,800. I would have expected 
um, at least 1400 uh, as a minimum because you can get that in Wi-Fi 6 or even Wi-Fi 6 I've seen some devices uh, go up to a 900 or a thousand so it's a bit disappointing these speeds really so we'll just give it another go again uh, as I said to you I don't really advise buying this currently if you want the, the full speeds of Wi-Fi 7 but if you want this as just a normal Wi-Fi adapter um, then it's perfectly okay and it works perfectly okay as well but uh, the speeds seem to be let down I've seen Wi-Fi 6e adapt uh, USB adapters uh, achieve much higher speeds than this but again this is more than most people's speeds that you need anyway and higher than your internet speeds that you have at home so this would be more than quick enough for most people to be honest and it, as I said it did plug in and it just installed the driver straight away and it's got a small little footprint um, so it's perfect for if you've got a little mini PC or anything like that we'll just do a quick uh, speed test uh, using uh, speed test here for the actual internet speed uh, just to give you an idea as well we can have a look at this um, just so you know that this one is going to the internet so it's it's about nine twenty past nine uh, at night um, on a Sunday so it's probably still a lot of people using the internet and we're getting really good speeds here I do have uh, two gig down and one gig up so you can see here uh, is limited by the uh, Wi-Fi this Wi-Fi 7 adapter but again, this is more than fast enough for most people's internet, as you can see here. Um, if you don't have anywhere near the speeds I've got, then this is perfect for you. Um, but again, just be wary of don't don't buy this for the Wi-Fi 7 features because I don't think the the driver supports them currently and doesn't look like it supports the uh, multi-link operation as well. So just be wary of that when you see these uh, Wi-Fi 7 adapters currently. There is some coming out by TP-Link, and I think it makes it a bit clearer. And I think they've got the same kind of chipset in as well, but perhaps there are better drivers and optimizer as well uh, support. So as we said here, so that as we've done these tests here, so again, I was a bit disappointed. I would expect from Wi-Fi 7 to get higher speeds. But again, as I said, looking at these ones here we've received, these are higher than most people's internets. And it's perfectly, you can see the ping and the jitter as well. So overall, I'm pretty happy and it was only, uh, I think I got it as a voucher for like £20. So for the USB adapter, again, it was just a bit disappointing because it didn't support the uh, Wi-Fi 7 kind of uh, speeds I was expecting. And just to put it into perspective, we'll quickly just run a speed test on the Wi-Fi 6 uh, uh, chipset that's in my uh, built into my mini PC, just to give you an idea uh, between this and the built-in uh, Wi-Fi 7 Um into the PC. So now we're just going to do run the speed test. This is using the Wi-Fi 6, the Intel chipset that's actually built into my mini PC. Just to give you an idea of speeds from, uh, it's supposed to be this Wi-Fi 6 uh, to Wi-Fi 7. And you can see here roughly that we, we are getting speeds exactly kind of the same um, as the Wi-Fi 7 adapter. Um, so there's no real big jump in speeds um, uh, that we can see here. I think there is better Wi-Fi 7 adapters out there that can, um, and even Wi-Fi 6E adapters that can get much quicker, I've seen, and even on your mobile device, I've seen up to 1400 on Wi-Fi 6 um, and 6E as well. So theoretically, if you've already got a Wi-Fi 6 uh, uh, adapter already, and you're thinking of upgrading to get the extra speed, um, to be honest, uh, uh, the, uh, I'd save your money and wait for later when there's a better Wi-Fi 7 USB adapters out there from the bigger makes and things like that and just pay the little bit extra so you get the proper speeds. Okay, so I hope you found this useful and again, if you have any uh, questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. And I'd like to know as well if you've had what your experiences with Wi-Fi 7 USB adapters. Um, have you had better experience than I have? Um, have you managed to find one that actually is working and it also supports this new uh, multi-link operation as uh, to connecting all the bands so it's always good to see okay thanks very much again and uh, have a great day